Hi, today I'll be discussing a theory of mine. Some important context for this video is that in Journey to the West it is heavily implied that Sun Wukong and the Sixtied Macaque are two parts of the same mind, with the Sixtied Macaque being a manifestation of Sun Wukong's dark inner thoughts. If you are not aware of this or don't think this is true, feel free to watch this video, link in the description, where I discuss this and explain what Journey to the West says using Chinese articles and academic papers and quotes from Journey to the West. However, this context is not needed to understand my theory, it just makes it stronger. So, the first part of my theory is that I believe Macaque is made from Sun Wukong in Lego Monkey Kid, and I will explain why I think this. First of all, appearances. In Monkey Kid, Macaque and Sun Wukong look extremely similar. In fact, aside from their colour scheme, they look practically identical. The show even points it out here, where the exact same line art is used for Sun Wukong and Macaque, just reversed. And MK even says that they are the same. Uh, you know you two are the same, right? I'm not like him. Like him. Now, you could say that them looking similar is due to the cartoon style of the show. However, MK mistakes Macaque for Sun Wukong, and Macaque himself states that he often gets mistaken for Sun Wukong, confirming that, in universe, they look very similar. Oh, <laughs> this is awkward. You're not Monkey King. <laughs> I get that a lot. Additionally, a big thing is the fact that Sun Wukong and Macaque's eyes look identical. In Journey to the West, there is a specific reason that Sun Wukong's eyes are golden. They were not always golden and became as such because he was refined and cooked in Lao Chu's furnace. Now, we know this event did indeed happen in Monkey Kid because it is specifically referenced in Revenge of the Spider Queen, when MK himself is stuck in that same furnace. Ended up getting his golden eyes of truth too. Furthermore, in Season 1, Episode 1, when Sun Wukong talks about the demons he has faced, we see the progression of his eyes. It goes by quickly, but the artist, Donovan Fu, released a high-quality version on ArtStation. We see him with black eyes, then him with golden eyes and a burnt face, and then golden eyes with his face healed. We also see this progression again in the 2022 Heavenly Realms LEGO set. This set features Lao Shu's and his furnace, the furnace which is why Sun Wukong's eyes are golden, and there are three Sun Wukong minifigures in the set, showing again the eye progression. Since Sun Wukong's eyes are unique, it would not make sense for Makek to have the same eyes as him, unless he is somehow made from Sun Wukong. Now, if Makek was made from Sun Wukong, it wouldn't make sense for him to have six ears, but luckily he doesn't have six ears. It is important to note that he's never said to have six ears in the original book, Journey to the West, and that the phrase six ears in his name is actually derived from a Buddhist concept and alludes to him being made from Sun Wukong. He's not called the six-eared Bekek because of his actual ears. This video I made explains this in more detail. Of course, there are various movies where he does have six ears, because it's easier to give him six ears than to go in and explain why he has six ears, plus it does look cool for him to have six ears, so I see why lots of movies would do it. However, in Monkey Kid, he does actually have six ears in the evil Mechex mech set, as you can see here, and also in concept art. It was likely the Monkey Kid writers thought about giving him six ears, but scrapped this idea. It's also important to note that this concept art is definitely not for future seasons, as it is clearly labelled as being for Season 3 Episode 1, and in it Mechex is clearly in his Season 3 outfit that Lady Bone Demon gave him, and he changed out of that outfit. Now, regardless of whether or not my theory is true, it wouldn't make sense for Makek to have six ears in Monkey Kid. Makek's true form was already established in Season 1 Episode 9 when we see him with his glamour off, revealing his scar and blind eye. It wouldn't make sense if Makek was somehow wearing another glamour underneath all of that. So how else does Monkey Kid seem to be implying that Makek is somehow made from Sun Wukong like in Journey to the West? Well, Sun Wukong and Makek have a lot of the same powers. It is a common misconception that Mekek stole MK's powers in Season 1, as in he stole MK's abilities. He did not. Here, Mekek himself says he stole MK's power, not MK's powers. Thank you for giving me all of Monkey King's power. <laughs> Mekek saying he stole MK's power, singular, implies he stole the energy slash power that fuels MK's specific abilities. Mekek already had those abilities slash powers, he just needed a power boost so he was strong enough to face Sun Wukong. Now you may think that this is a stretch, that this is just semantics, but there is abundant evidence that Mekek had those abilities before he stole MK's power. In Season 1, Episode 9, before Mekek steals MK's power, we see him using this purple energy weapon construct. 
and we briefly see MK using this ability when Mekek is training him. MK has Sun Wukong's powers, so it stands to reason that this is one of Sun Wukong's abilities. Now, we haven't seen Sun Wukong himself use this ability yet, but we know he has many powers we haven't seen. Now, in Shadow Play, we see a flashback in the form of a Shadow Play. This flashback takes place long before Mekek stole MK's power. In this scene, we see Sun Wukong and Mekek, both of them with clones. This confirms that Mekek has always had the ability to make clones. Additionally, at the end of Season 1, Mekek is defeated and MK regains the power that Mekek stole from him. Yet in Season 3, we see that Mekek can still shapeshift and make clones of himself. Ergo, he's always had the same powers as Sun Wukong, and in Season 1 he just stole the power, fueling MK's abilities. We also see that, like MK, Mekek can also create a giant monkey mech. And we also know Mekek doesn't just have similar powers to Sun Wukong, his powers are specifically Sun Wukong's powers, he's just less powerful. Otherwise, Sun Wukong would not have said this to Mekek. Well, it is on brand for you to have a worse version of everyone else's powers. Another thing is that only those specifically with Sun Wukong's powers can hold the staff, so that includes Sun Wukong and MK. However, in Shadow Play, we actually see Mekek clearly hold up the staff and even move it despite MK trying to push it down on top of him. Uh, you're right. That is enough. You know, you really are just that bit too much like him. But it's good to see there's some potential. Like, MK is clearly pushing the staff down on Mekek really hard, and he just holds it up for a while with MK on top of it. So, as has now been established, Mekek has the same powers as Sun Wukong, and has always had them. So, on to the second part of my theory. We know that Mekek and Sun Wukong look suspiciously similar, that Mekek has the same powers as Sun Wukong, and that Journey to the West heavily implies that the six-year Mekek is made from Sun Wukong. Thus, in Monkey Kid, it seems Mekek is made from Sun Wukong in some way. There are two viable options for how Mekek would be made from Sun Wukong in Monkey Kid. The first is that Mekek somehow came from Sun Wukong's shadow, which would explain the shadow powers and shadow motif. The second option is that Mekek is, or was, a hair clone of Sun Wukong. I think Mekek being a clone is the most likely option, and I'll explain why. In Journey to the West, Sun Wukong has the ability to make clones from his hair, and this is carried over to Monkey Kid. In Monkey Kid, we know that clones start out the same as the original, with MK and his clones even talking in sync. Whoa! Holy moly! I look exactly like him! However, as shown in Duplicat Nation, if left alone too long, the clones can become sentient and develop their own personalities. Party Clone's voice even sounds different from MK's, and he talks in slang not even the original MK can understand. The thing is, in Journey to the West, there is nothing to suggest that clones can become sentient and develop their own personalities, or even that they have minds of their own. This concept is unique to Monkey Kid. As all the evidence is pointing towards Mekek being made from Sun Wukong and Monkey Kid, it is very telling that it has been made very clear that clones can develop their own personalities and even turn against the original. But wait, there's more. We do not have any explicit confirmation that any of MK's clones also have MK's powers, but it seems that they do. Here, we can see Delivery Clone holding MK's staff in his mouth, with the staff being held above the ground, so it seems that clones can hold the staff. But most importantly, MK says that the Painter Clone is the last clone he has to take care of, yet then he remembers Party Clone. <laughs> I think that's the last one. Oh, wait! However, when MK confronts Party Clone, Party Clone calls on his boys, who are all other clones. You wanna get to me? You gotta go through my boys! There are many clones. Seemingly hundreds. Now, did MK really forget about making all these other clones? And why do these clones look so different? They have darker, muddier skin tones, red eyes, and these face markings, which I will expand on later. Now, you might say the skin tone is just the lighting, but when MK is fighting these clones, you see them side by side. So, due to the fact that these clones look different, and the fact that Party Clone refers to them as his boys, and the fact that it seems unlikely MK would forget making all these many, many clones, I propose that these are not clones of MK. These are clones of Party Clone. This would explain why they look so different, because they are copies of a copy. 
like how when you photocopy a photocopy and the quality degrades. If Makek is a clone of Sun Wukong, this would explain why Makek's clones look so different to him, because they are copies of a copy, and so their quality is less. The last thing I want to say regarding the MK clones is this. All of the clones at the end, the ones I believe are clones of Party Clone, have these face markings. You could say, oh, they're shadows, but we never see MK with this sort of shadow on his face, and except for these two brief moments, which seem to be animation errors, all of these clones have face markings in every scene. The face markings are also visible when the clones are glowing before they are destroyed, so realistically they can't be shadows. The fact that they all have these face markings is clearly a very deliberate choice. I do not have any idea why they have these face markings, but if you look closely, you'll see a lot of them have visible little spikes. And this is shown in multiple scenes. Now, where else have we seen a spiky face marking? On Makek. Now, I don't know what this means, but there's definitely something going on here. In conclusion, Sun Wukong and Makek look the same, including their eyes. They have the same powers, including the ability to hold the staff. And in the original story, the 60th Makek is part of Sun Wukong slash made for him. So Makek is definitely made for Sun Wukong Monkey Kid. And because of what we were shown in the episode Duplicate Cat Nation, I'm pretty sure that in Monkey Kid, Makek is or was a hair clone of Sun Wukong. Now, obviously, the hair clones can be poofed away. So I'm guessing something made Makek unpoofable. Maybe he made a deal with some sort of shadow demon, which would explain his shadow powers. Now, there is one last thing I want to briefly talk about. It is a bit crazy, but it's about the face markings. If Makak was a hair clone, he would have originally looked exactly like Sun Wukong, including his face marking. So I'm thinking his face marking slowly grew bigger, grew spikes, and turned red. This sounds outlandish, but it is surprisingly supported by the Makak figures in the Monkey Kid sets. The first Makek figure has two faces, with the first face not matching his face in the show. The face masking is not bright red, and it is almost the same shape as Sumo Kong's. Now, you might say, oh, then maybe they misprinted Sumo Kong's face marking onto Makek's face. But looking at the two faces side by side, you'll see that Makek's face marking does have some spikes. Now, on the exact same Makek minifigure, there is a show accurate face that is larger, redder, and has more spikes. So on the same minifigure, we have a show-accurate face and another face that is closer in colour and size to Sun Wukong's face. Of course, sets are not always show-accurate, but why would they take the time to design two separate distinct faces for Makek? Now let's take a quick look at the Season 3 Evil Makek figure. Now I've already established that clearly they were going to have Makek have six ears but change their mind. But what I find interesting is that Makek's face marking has changed more here. It is larger and has more spikes. Again, why would they design a whole other face for Makek? Now obviously we did not see Makek with this face in Season 3, but it does add to the idea that Makek's face marking has been growing, and we might see Makek with this face in later seasons. Now let's line up all the faces so we can see the progression. Weird, isn't it? I do think something's going on. Definitely something. So that essentially concludes the video. I do want to quickly add that someone did ask the director of Monkey Kid if Sun Wukong and Makek were exes, and she kind of replied rather ominously. And then I replied to her tweet saying that they're actually culturally regarded as brothers in China. And she liked my tweet. So I'm just saying the director is definitely aware of the original context of the characters. And I mean, due to the documentary, we do know that the Monkey Kid writers do have like a whole Chinese consultation team. Anyway, thank you for watching. I did make this animation based off my theory that Makeka's a hair clone. So feel free to check that out.